I've got a question for you. Mm -hmm. What do you want? What do you really, really want? What do I really, really yeah, want? Really, I'll tell really you want. what I want. What? what I really, really want. Mm -hmm. I want one of the Spice Girls right here on this sofa. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it's happened. It's happened. Here it's I happened. am. Yeah, lovely, 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 lovely. Well, you know the record of the Spice Girls, all the records they sold, everything that happened with them. And uh, seven solo albums now Melanie C has under her belt. She's, she appeared in the West End as well. And she's set to entertain you if you go to a festival this season. She is with us uh, this morning as well. Do you get nerves still when you step up? Always. Yeah? Always. Always, yeah. I mean, they kind of vary depending on how big the event is or if you've not been on stage for a while. But I think it's a really important thing for a performer to... Do you guys get nervous? When we go up to that well, NEC... I will be nervous there, yeah. actually, I know just Ruth. watching that today. Because, you know, mm. obviously in here we're broadcasting, but we can't see everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You always tell Ruth's all those nervous people. she gets her top lip goes sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a very attractive sight, but I can always say she's nervous. But it is a little sign. It's a little sign. Is it, is it for you, again, the festivals probably are smaller audiences than your, you would have had, say, with the Spice Girls? Oh, gosh, do you know what? Actually, being a performer, you get the opportunity to play every size. You yeah. know, sometimes it's really intimate. Sometimes you're going out in arenas and stadiums. and I mean, festivals are huge. That's a, a really yeah. big audience. Yeah. Mel, why did you decide... After the Spice Girls, you could have stepped back, retired on that, gone away, disappeared, done your knitting, whatever it happened to be. Mm -hmm. But you decided to work on. Was that the harder option? Was that the harder decision to, to say, I want to ply on with You it? know, for me, I just love what I do. And I just feel really lucky that I'm still here doing it and really enjoying it. And with this new album, it, it's a little bit different than things I've done before. It's more electronic. So I feel really excited and enthusiastic and I think after 20 years in mm. music I'm really lucky to have that enthusiasm Yes, but still. again, you think what's good about this new album is you say this is me before people started telling me who I was type thing mm. with their judgments on you. This is you going back to, well, trying to discover who you were before you were yeah. told who to be. You know what, I, we were never told who to be but I think just generally in life we all are affected by how people perceive us, how we think people want us to be, how we think we want to be. You know, I think in your 20s, you're kind of figuring it all out, aren't you? Yeah. And every stage of your life, like with every record I've made, I've felt different and I've expressed that moment. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> what I really, really want is for everyone to come and see me at the Isle of Wight Festival yeah. this year. <laughs> you've, done, you've done Isle of Wight before, haven't you? I've done it, yeah, yeah. this is my One third of your time. Favorites. Yeah, I've played the main stage, which was yeah. amazing. I was on the same day as the Rolling Stones, wow. so that was very cool. Then I played the garden stage, which is a bit more chilled. And this year I'm on the big top, which is perfect for the style of music I'm playing. We've got a great production, really good lights. We're on quite late as well, so it's going to be really good. Now, what about Scarlett? Because we were saying, how was she? Eight? Maybe? My little girl's eight. eight. Which I can't believe the times we've talked about her on here, and there I she know. is, eight years old already. She's getting How does to that be a work? Girl. Summer, school holidays, yeah. you touring. Summer's cool actually because I'm doing lots of really fun things. I'm not only doing festivals here in the UK, I'm over in Europe, I'm actually going to Mexico next week, I'm also in Brazil next month, so I'm all over the place. When she's in school, I'm a little bit restricted because yeah. I don't want to interrupt that too much, but when she's off, I can take her with me or she can go hang and out with my she, mom. Yeah, and... how, how is she about that? Uh, you know, obviously far too young to remember the Spice Girls and things, but she obviously knows about the Spice Girls. How does she cope when people come up and talk to you or want pictures or the fame that you do you know what? It's really interesting. She's, I think she's quite cool about it. She's very proud of Mummy, um, also embarrassed at times. Yeah. But um, Dancing is normally the thing that gets them, isn't it? it? It's, yeah, it's the dabbing. What's dabbing? So, you, you don't know what dabbing yeah, is? No, what's dabbing? dabbing? This is the dab. Yeah, yeah. Again, I'm going to be in trouble because I'm yeah. not allowed to do it. Yeah. Um, so this is what all the kids are doing. Oh, are they? The yeah. dab? The what's dab. that? I'll yeah, do it. You just can't. Yeah. Yeah. That's the dab. Yeah. I, sorry, any kids watching, if sorry, you've done Scarlett. it wrong, apparently I did, I did it wrong. I do, you know, <laughs> I'm like, darling, mummy trained as a dancer, <laughs> uh, but I can't do the dance. Um, but yeah, she's, she bans me from doing that. But no, she's really proud and people come up and sometimes she rolls her eyes a little bit. But um, she's quite cool. She's got, you know, a cool understanding. And what about the other girls? Anybody, because I know you all like to support each other in everything you're doing. Will any of them manage to get to the festival? You saw Jerry recently, didn't you? Jerry came, I played, um, I've just toured the UK and Europe. 
Europe and I played Shepherds Bush Empire in London. And Jerry came along to that, which was lovely. Mm -hmm. And I'm playing Kew Gardens and Henley with All Saints. And Sophie oh. Alex Bexter has just been announced as well. So I think there's going to be lots of girls. I'm sure Holly will be making an appearance yeah. at one of those shows as well. Because there's a big gang of us yeah. who have, you know, have been working in entertainment for a very long time and we all know each other and like to yeah. hang out.